back here with Set Fishing. Today we're looking at the difference between the Hero 3 Plus silver camera and the regular Hero camera. I think the biggest problem with fishing and with videography and YouTube videos is a lot of fishermen don't know where to start. They don't know which GoPro camera to get. I've narrowed my GoPro arsenal down to just two models, the Hero 3 Plus Silver and the regular Hero, like I said. I'm going to tell you the quick differences between the two and which one will work best for you and your fishing. Before we begin, there's a few terms that you need to understand. The first thing you need to understand is FPS, frames per second. That's the amount of frames per second a camera is taking. So in other words, if I'm to move my hand in front of the camera like this, there's a certain amount of frames that that camera is picking up per that one second of my hand moving. This is particularly important for slow motion shots. The more frames per second, the, more, the slower you're going to be able to move your video down to and the more smooth it's going to be. For example, if I have a 30 FPS camera and I slow it down 25%, your subject is going to move like this in a staggered pattern. If I slow it down to just 50 at 30 frames per second, it's going to be one slow motion because that's the amount of frames it picked up. Most GoPro cameras go up to about 60 FPS. The new ones on the market go up to 120 or more. Next thing you need to understand is what I'm talking about 1080, 920. That's the quality of the video. 1080 is HD quality and all the GoPro cameras offer this. The other thing you need to understand is the frames per second in a still shot. When they're talking about 5 or 10 frames per second, that's the amount of still frames it's going to shoot within a second. So let's get down to the differences. Starting with the Hero, GoPro Hero, this is the bottom of the GoPro totem pole. It's only 120, 130 bucks. It shoots at maximum 1080 HD at 30 frames per second, and you can decrease the quality to 720 HD at 60 frames per second. With GoPro cameras and with cameras in general, the more HD footage, the less frames per second you're going to have. The most still frame frames per second it can shoot is five, and it's built in its case unlike the Hero 3 Plus, which has a rechargeable battery and can be taken out of its case. So what does this all add up to? All right, so basically the difference, the main difference between the Hero and the Hero 3 Plus is the fact that the 3 Plus can shoot at 60 frames per second at 1080. So is this a big deal? If you're into slow motion photography, this will probably be a bigger deal for you. That's 30 whole frames per second that you're missing out at 1080 HD. However, like I said, this camera does shoot at 60 frames per second, you can get slow motion shots out of this camera. It's just going to be a little less quality. Is the difference noticeable? Not really. If you touch up the lighting a little bit, and if it's as long as it's not your main use of footage, you're switching around the shots, maybe using another camera at a higher setting, you'll be fine. Your footage and your videos will be top of the line. Another thing that the Hero 3 Plus does that the Hero doesn't is it has Wi-Fi and it can connect to a remote. With this, the only way you're going to be able to get your footage is on your computer or hooking it up with an adapter on your phone. And the the only way you're going to be able to turn it on is just using a button with your hand. Not a big deal. The Hero camera comes with auto lighting adjustments and low lighting adjustments, which is really cool for a $120 camera. This camera can do a lot of things that the more expensive GoPros can do. For some reason, people just really discredit them. I'm out on the water a lot. I can't remove the back battery of that. The Hero cameras actually have replaceable charging batteries that you can hook to the back of them. They're only 20 bucks. You can get them on Amazon and really trusted companies that make GoPro replaceable batteries also make these. They even come with a special case that will fit the back of your GoPro charging battery and the GoPro itself. So you can charge your GoPro Hero while you're shooting. So it's essentially like a removable battery, except it's charging it and you're not replacing the whole battery itself. So what does all this mean and which camera is right for you? Here's my opinion. You get two of the GoPro Heroes or even three of them, get a few of them, different angles, and for that price, of one whole GoPro 3 Plus kit or a Hero 4, you have three separate cameras for three separate angles. I would put two of them at 1080 30 FPS and the other at 720 60 FPS. You have one slow motion cam, put it in a spot where you can get good slow motion footage of your fishing, and then the others you can do with what you want with it. Those won't be your slow motion cameras, they'll be your real live action cams. Or you could buy two of the GoPro Heroes and one of the GoPro Hero 3 Plus Silvers, and you could have a really nice slow motion and 
1080 high quality camera and then two other cameras to get two different shots. To me, fishing cameras need to do just a few things. They need to provide me that slow motion and good quality. So with just the simple hero, you get a few of these. 1080 HD shooting is really high quality stuff. It's great footage. And just turning it down a notch and switching it to 720 at 60 FPS, like I said, you can still get that slow motion with less quality. At the end of the day, is that 720, 1080 difference worth a hundred extra dollars? Is that replaceable battery, the Wi-Fi, is it worth an extra hundred bucks? If you have the money, go ahead. But if you're on a good budget, if you're beginning your, your journey into fishing and shooting film while fishing, I wouldn't worry about it. So ideally the perfect fishing camera setup is to have a few for slow motion footage and a few for regular shooting real-time footage. So it's really up to you. I mean, I've used plenty of 720 slow motion in my films. At 120 bucks with the replaceable chargeable batteries at 20 bucks, lifespan three plus hours, four plus hours at 720, you should have really good batteries with these cameras and I have had nothing but good experiences. I hope this video helped. Let me know if you want more GoPro tips. I've been doing this GoPro stuff for ever since I started fishing, even way before then. My family owned one of the very first GoPro models. I'm very familiar with the company and their products. So if if you want to know more tips, more hacks about this subject, I love talking about it, obviously, and uh, leave a comment below. Those lower quality ones are great for faraway shots, and for the up close shots, the higher quality ones are great for that. Thanks guys a lot for watching, stay tuned for more, and tie lines.